Hello, welcome to Introduction to the Visual Arts. Today we're going to talk about a painting by Grant Wood. Grant Wood was an American social regionalist painter and by that what he painted was paintings of the heartland, paintings of the center of the United States. Now he painted this painting American Gothic in the 1930s and I think it was in 1930 exactly. He studied at the um, Art Institute in Minneapolis. He was actually from Iowa and most of the painters that became famous at this time were actually from the coast, mostly from the East Coast, but um, he was from the center of the country so that was kind of a departure. Well at this time the United States was going through great economic upheaval and it is about the time of the Great Depression. So Grant Wood comes along and he paints this so-called farm couple in front of this farmhouse in this uh, sort of ideal, idyllic situation. If you look at the trees in the very, very background, you'll see that they're kind of uh, stylized. They're round, kind of lollipop trees actually, not really what real trees look like. In the very, very deep space behind the couple, you have this farmhouse that looks quite pristine. There's, if you look to the bottom left, there's a little uh, pot with some house, some little plants in it where the wife has probably been gardening on her front step. So out in the front, right close to the picture plane, you have this man and his wife and they're looking right out at you. They're looking, when, whenever you have a subject that looks right at you, he's engaging you. He's almost daring you to look at him and so that, and he's looking back at you. So it's very, very in your face. Uh, the wife is looking off to the side and that's not quite so uh, confrontational as the husband is. Now this couple was actually, they were actually not a, a couple at all, but they were models for Grant Wood. The man was his dentist and the woman was his niece. Now let me direct your attention to their clothing. The husband is wearing a black coat. He almost looks like a minister. He's got little round glasses and he's not smiling. He has a pitchfork and the pitchfork, uh, right here the pitchfork is you very, very pronounced and some people would say that that pitchfork is meant to scare off evil or to scare off the devil. As far as the way that Grant Wood put this together, you can see that he repeated this pitch, pitchfork shape in uh, the farmer's overalls right here. The wife has an apron on so we know that she's a good woman. She's does she does what women are supposed to do. She's probably making food and taking care of the home. The pattern in her apron is repeated in this curtain in the window. And if you look at the window, it's a gothic shaped window. So it almost gives you the feeling that it's a church. So you get the feeling that these people are very, probably very austere, church going folks who are living a very, very good life and they're working, they're working hard um, to um, make a living and they're going to be successful because they are keeping the Ten Commandments, perhaps. So this painting has been parodied. Probably it's one of the most parodied paintings in all, of all of the American uh, works and so by a parody is people poke fun at it, fun of it by putting other things together like Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Sometimes I've seen uh, a motorcycle, two motorcycle riders and a Harley Davidson in the background. Um, so um, just think about how you could parody this painting. Now when the people of Iowa saw this painting when Grant Woods unveiled it, even though he won a prize with it, um, they were very upset by it. They thought that he was making fun of them and he really wasn't making fun of them. He was actually saying the heartland, the good life, good people, that's the way we should live our lives and that's what um, good people do. So if you want to know more about this painting, 
There's lots and lots of uh, references to it on the internet and you can check it out for yourself. But with that, I'm going to stop and thank you for your attention.